Alright, welcome to the tutorial for learning how to make a sandwich on Photoshop. So first thing we need to do is make sure that we have all of our images for creating the sandwich. So you're actually going to use Google Images to do this. Find each one of your pieces um, of your sandwich and then you're going to save them into a folder. And um, I've already gone through and done that. So I'm going to show you where that is right now. Go to download. So I have all my sandwich materials right here. So I got bread, ham, lettuce, pepper jack cheese, a picnic plate, and some tomato. Everything but the Duke's mayonnaise. I've got it all here. So it's ready to go. Um, that's the first step thing we need to do. The next thing we need to do is actually open up Photoshop. We're going to create a new Photoshop document. And we're going to just use the default size. You call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it Sandwich Yummy. I'll click OK. And then it's going to give me the default size of a Photoshop file that I want. Okay, a couple of things about Photoshop before we get started. Uh, over here, we've got all our tools. You can play around with those, see what they do. Uh, but every time you click on one, you'll notice the top changes because there's certain features for different tools. Um, and if you see a tool with a little uh, arrow here, that means it's got multiple under that one tool. So if you click and drag, you notice we got two tools under those. And so we're going to probably mainly be using the magic wand tool and the select tool here. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and be in selection mode. Um, and then as we take a look over to the right, we've got our different colors if you ever want to add a color. And then down here we have different layers that we're going to end up adding. So this project is going to teach you about adding layers, duplicating layers, creating folders for the layers, and uh, you'll see how they all stack up in, in just a minute. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do uh, is I'm actually going to drag my first thing in here. So in order to start our um, sandwich project we need to actually start with a plate usually you put your sandwich on a plate so I'm gonna take the plate the nice thing about Apple is that a lot of things are drag and drop so I'm gonna open up this folder and then I'm just gonna pick the plate drag it drop it and then it's gonna bring it in then I'm going to fill it into the screen here if you press and hold um, shift you see how it's kind of distorted like that if I hold shift while I do it then it will keep um, it will keep everything proportional. So I'm going to drag it to the edges here, drag it down here to the bottom, and let that go. That's okay if we have some extra space here. And you'll aut automatically see whenever I dragged and dropped it in here, it created a new layer. So what I can do, I'll show you in, in a minute, but you can actually um, hide visibility of these layers. So first it's going to tell me I need to place this. If I try and do anything else, it's going to say you need to place this objects so that it stays there. So I'm going to say place. It's placed down. And now if I wanted to turn the view off, then now we're only seeing the background layer, which reminds me, we're going to go ahead and delete this layer. It's going to say, are you sure? Yes. So now we only have the picnic and plate layer. And it's invisible, so we have nothing. Okay, so let's go ahead and make that visible so we can see it. We now have it there, it's in place, and now we're ready to start building our sandwich. So let's go ahead and grab our bread slice. So here we have our slice of bread. I'm going to take that one, drag it, and drop it. Okay, and I'm going to resize it and do the same thing. Press the shift button and hold that down at the same time. And then eventually when I get it kind of to the right size I want, there we go, that looks about right. Then I'm going to actually place it, click the little check button up there, and now it's in place and I can move it around. You'll notice it's not pulling the plate with it because they're on two separate layers here. If I just want to focus on the bread, I can make the plate invisible and just focus on the bread. Or I can keep it up like that. Okay, now, uh, interesting thing we're going to try now is you see how we have all this white stuff around here? We want to get rid of that. We don't want to have all that extra stuff in there. So let's get rid of that. We're going to use the magic wand tool, which is going to be just that. It's like magic. So we're going to click on that area, and it's going to select all of that same, uh, same color. 
So if you're looking and finding images, it's going to help if that image is on a background that is like a solid color. That's going to help you out. And then I'm going to try and press the delete button, but it's going to give me an error and say that this couldn't be completed because it's it's a smart object. So what I have to do is very important is to right click and I need to rasterize the layer or raster rasterize the layer. So I'm going to click that. It's going to rasterize whatever that means and then I should be able to delete it. I'm going to select all of those white spaces and delete it. If you need to zoom in, you have to manually select here. I'm going to zoom in 200% and then that way I can view all this stuff down here, delete it, and now we have uh, a piece of bread that is just the bread, not the outside. So you, if, you, if you get to a point where you're like this and this is selected and you don't want it selected, you can go up to select and you can do deselect, so that way it turns that off. And then it's just, um, it's just selected now the bread slice that we were working on. If you need to go back to a different layer, you can go back to a different layer to work on that. Um, so at this point, I'm going to grab my meat. So let's grab the ham and put it on here. Okay, so you notice it's huge. I don't want it that big. So I'm going to resize it, make it a little bit smaller. That's about the right size of a piece of ham. Make it maybe a little bit smaller. And then I'm going to place it. I'm going to rotate it. You'll see if I move the mouse up here, I can actually rotate it. If I press the shift key, it will actually snap to positions that are like 90 degrees or 75. So I want 90 degrees. And I'm going to actually place that. I'm going to use my magic wand tool to cut all this extra stuff. It's going to give me that error message. I want to raster size. And I know I'm doing this kind of quickly, but you can pause and go back if you need to. Okay, so then I'm going to grab this area, I'm going to deselect that area, I'm going to resize this a little bit. And then another thing that we can do is we can actually duplicate layers. So I'm going to place that, and in order to duplicate a layer, I'm going to right click here, and I'm going to go duplicate layer. It's going to say, okay, what do you want to call it? So I'm going to call this one ham2, because it's our second slice of ham. And you'll notice it doesn't look like it's there, but as soon as we move, it shows that it's there. Okay, so that's a good thing. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, group these together. So I have ham and ham2, and I can go back and rename this if I want to. And then I'm going to group them together. If you press and hold shift and click both of these at the same time, it will select both of the layers at the same time. And then I'm going to right click and I'm going to group those. And I'm going to call it ham since this is my ham grouping. And that way it creates a group of both of those layers. And so now if I select the ham folder, it's going to select both of these. And I can move them both around and do whatever I want with them. I can also make just the ham layer invisible. Turn them off so they're not there. And I can turn them back on if I want them. Okay, so you're going to keep doing this and keep building on your layers until you have all of your different layers of your sandwich. And then eventually, when you get finished with it, you're actually going to go to File. You can save what you're working on, and it will save as a Photoshop file or a PSD file. So we called it Sandwich Yummy, and that's fine. Compatibility, we can say OK to that. But then it's going to save as a, a Photoshop file, but I want to save it as a JPEG so I can view it on any computer, upload it to a website, or give it to Mr. Calsby because he loves sandwiches. So. I'm going to go to Save As. I'm going to save it as a JPEG. I'm going to do a, a JPEG 2000. Click Save, and then it's going to say, OK, well, what are some different features of it? How, how good of quality of image do you want? And I can say, well, I want it to be kind of nice. And the higher quality you make, the larger the file is going to be. So you don't have to make it too large, but you can make it small enough to where it's going to be a relatively um, reasonable sized file. So I'm going to go OK. And then I can actually go to the folder where it just saved those. Both of our sandwich yummy. So this is the Photoshop file. This is the JPEG. Okay, The JPEG is what I can use to actually submit this project. And it's what will be a flat image. It's what we call a flat image. So everything is all on one. 
So you see how it cut off my extra here? That's what we want. And this would be a nice image that you could be able to submit once you have all of your layers on there. Okay, so that is your tutorial. If you got any questions,